If you can change one thing well, about your film, what would be? Well, because of the time crunch, we had, at the very end, um, we had a bomb sequence, which that was where the yellow and orange light was going off. Um, when the superhero walked away, um, his amulet was supposed to be glowing. Um, so because of our time crunch, we weren't able to put that in. I probably would not have dressed up as a woman at the downtown farmer's market. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, more music in maybe two or three minutes longer? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said for everybody who missed that. Uh, I think we would do, uh, well, we're pretty happy with how everything turned out. I would say cleaning the tape heads beforehand was our biggest issue. Nick, come on, man. I'm all filming you and shit. God. Um, I think we would have worked on our sound a little bit more and also a couple of the key scenes like uh, the, love se the love montage scene where the guy finds the girl and they show him doing all the fun stuff at the park. So. I think for us trying to cut down Josh Boyd's dialogue from three long dreams into it? about seven minutes. So. I think ours was trying to, um, we tried to fit a lot of our editing in at the last minute. We thought we could get up at nine o'clock on Sunday and just finish up the editing, but it turned out it would have taken a lot longer than that, and we actually didn't even get to watch our film straight through before turning it in. Uh, <clears throat> I would have liked uh, Alex, uh, oh, Glow Balls, that was our movie. I didn't say that before. Yeah. Brown Shoe Productions. Uh, I would have liked uh, my son to have put more of his music in there. He was playing all that stuff, and uh, I can't talk him into doing any of it. He's really a good musician. <laughs> Alex, we'll love you, man. I think uh, what we would have done different is probably start editing before Sunday. Okay, and uh, by show of hands, how many filmmakers up here first time? Wow. That's pretty impressive. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. We're on the same level as everybody else as I've seen so far, and so uh, that that's really impressive. Uh, this isn't your first time. You didn't raise your hand. Right? All right, uh, if you could just say how many times you've uh, and made a film for the 48-hour project and what your genres have been in the past. This is our third one, Joel. Fourth. Fourth. What are the other ones? Foreign film, romance. Yeah, and then uh, fantasy. Fantasy. Oh, that's right. Fantasy and then ghost. Maybe it's your first time. This is our first time. Well, actually, if it's your first time, <laughs> I know that you can give back the genre that you get and pick another one. Oh, we kept the genre when we got mockumentary. We just kept the mockumentary genre. So. If you switch genre, just let us know. Yeah, this is our first time at this one, too. We drew drama and we chose to stick with it. Uh, this is multi, uh, Mod Lab Multimedia's first time, but I helped uh, Nick in Southside Studios last year with, with Sound on Romance. Uh, this was really my first time, but the team that I was on has done it, I think, three or four times now. I think three. And I did it uh, four years prior with Southsider and then two National Film Challenge, so this is the seventh time I've done it. Yeah! Three. yeah! Three of the seven we got romance, so uh, we're just like, waka baka bow wow. <laughs> uh, first time and we kept comedy. So second time last year we did a practice of the silent film and we did put our genre back this year to get foreign film. We had the three dreaded words, musical or western. Uh, at our strategy meeting, we decided we didn't want to go for the wild card, but now after seeing your foreign film, there's hope for the wild card, I think. Um, so this is our first time and our genre was superhero. Uh, this was our first time. I'm pretty sure we kept our, our genre. It was thriller suspense, but I wasn't actually there for the drawing, so yes, that was we, we did. Yeah. Uh, one of the unsung heroes of a film is usually the location, and I noticed uh, in one of the films, uh, the farmers market played a big part. <laughs> did you uh, have to? Did you have any trouble, or did you ask people to look at you weird, or was that just? <laughs> We had zero trouble actually getting the location. I called them from Iowa City. Uh, I go to the University of Iowa. 
my film student there, and uh, we, uh, I called, I called the Des Moines people that are in charge of the farmers market. I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let you guys film there. And uh, I didn't know that I'd be showing up dressed as a woman, asking people if we could, we could shoot. And uh, the biggest problem we actually ran into was having a, a pillows and a body bag, and people asking, is that a body? Is, is that a body? There was no question of looking at me strange. It was more, more the body people and the guy with the, the Mountie hat. Okay, and uh, with excuse me, sir, was there any, uh, was that, where the hell right here, that's what I thought, I stood in front of you, uh, were any of those people not actors that you said it to, or did you take any takes with people that were not knowing what was going on? Uh, no, everyone, everyone was uh, an actor, and as far as the people that got uh, fooled, so. Oh, sure. you went around trying to trick no, it wasn't. It wasn't a spur of the moment, you know, random footage. But it, they were all actors, and they, they did a great job. So. I'll open the floor to the audience. If you have a question, just raise your hand. Uh, there was a film that had the three words, and it was in German. What, what did that mean? Uh, that was us. Um, that was uh, Mischer Mach. That's uh, um, a Nietzsche quote. What doesn't make uh, kill you makes you stronger. Makes you stronger as the. Love you, Aaron Ward. Okay, more questions. Sexy time. Hands up. Anybody got a question? Ask the first timers if they do it again. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, are you guys planning on doing it again, even if it isn't the first time? Do you think that this is your last time, or do you think you'll do it again? Well, we always say that this is our last time. <laughs> Um, but then a few days later, it be, like maybe there's a chance and then closer it gets it if we get excited about it, so. Uh, maybe if we had more than three hours to film, that would have been better, but we didn't start till like 12 o'clock on Saturday, and, and my kid is moving out to USC Film School, so I think I'll see him again for many, many years. Bye. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 that trip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, I would like to do the case. Absolutely. Most definitely. I would say so. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, more questions from the audience? Where at? Just, yeah, say it. Oh, um, for anyone who title wasn't obvious, like, what was the inspiration for the title? What was the inspiration for the title of your film? Good question. We kicked around a few ideas, but uh, we ended on condolences just to kind of link back to the funeral and the, the guilt that the main character felt. Well, um, in our uh, movie, the, one of the superpowers had powers uh, derived from his amulet, and uh, I, that was the main character, so we decided to call it Amulet Legacy. Little bro, it's alliteration. Uh -huh. Design to kill is kind of obvious. The meaning of life in Lido was just written on the can. Yeah! Uh, yeah! <laughs> it's so easy and so simple. Greg Calhoun, uh, we fought for a while over a couple really cheesy names. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> but we had fun. Yeah, our, our title wasn't exactly obvious either. We had Progress Note, and it was the one with the guy with the flowers who went on the walk and went between the different um, daydreams. And we had kind of a little bit of a fight in our group, too, about the title. Go back and forth between the and the I'm going to finish and this shit. This is boring. Progress Note. But unfortunately, the team member who saw oh. that is here tonight. Oh, I didn't stop.